We are working on the evaluation of sunny day flooding in Hampton, New Hampshire. We're looking at how the tides come in and affect the neighborhoods during the king tides. A king tide is when the tides are at their max and they end up coming up and flooding into the neighborhoods. This affects the way people live. Um, we know that this is happening regularly. There are signs that suggest that the frequency of which this flooding occurs is going to increase. This project was presented to us uh, in the Innovation Scholars Program, an opportunity for first year students to get involved in research and learn some research skills. The fabulous thing about this project is that this was actually real world research where they're using really sophisticated instruments, they're building and designing them themselves, and they're deploying them in a place where we know that there is significant need. So I'm from Hampton, so this is a, a problem that I've actually noticed. It was cool when I came here, an op opportunity to actually look at it from a, a scientific point of view and actually try to come up with some solutions to it. What we did was we made an ultrasonic sensor to uh, measure the water level and then we deployed this in the area along with ground level sensors. Then going out and actually measuring it and seeing what the differences are and what could help prevent flooding from getting to the houses on the street. It's not like class or like, oh yeah, you do this, this happens, then you have to do that. It's like, okay, we did this, and we had this issue, this went good, how do we fix that? And we have to go and figure it out and actually do it real hands-on, it's really awesome. So our students, in addition to communicating with some of the local residents in Hampton and informing them about their outcomes, they're also presenting their work at University of New Hampshire's Undergraduate Research Conference. This is actual data that's going to help people who are experiencing this flooding. I'm hoping to be able to work on this project in the next couple of years still. It's something I really thought that was only for upperclassmen coming in here. I wouldn't really think that I would have an opportunity to do it. It's pretty cool that they're actually giving this opportunity to freshmen.